here we are looking at the SLTZ daily chart and this one's got a nice little uh, setup here taking place in terms of risk versus reward and I'll go into more detail with that in just a few seconds here uh, but besides that the other reason where it's got some attractiveness is this is, has the history of making some big moves uh, granted on smaller volume uh, but you know my guess is looking at this chart uh, the floats uh, pretty low and it's got the capability to move you know upwards and quickly um, there's a couple of resistances that I've noticed that the chart's going to need to get through and close above, uh, but the potential is there, and that's what it's really all about. Uh, nobody cares about anything if there's no potential behind it, but this one's definitely got the potential, and it's sitting right back at um, you know a key level. Had it if it was closing up around here, uh, you know it definitely wouldn't be a, a good risk first reward, but obviously it's not clo it didn't close up here. So I'll explain more by what I mean by that. So the first thing I want to point out. Is this level down here you can see multiple times the price hit it and this level is at four cents uh, here again price hit it again big bounce up from it pulled back and now recently you can see here right back around this four cent area uh, closed on Friday at 0.043 so although it's not exactly at four cents close enough you get the idea now on the reverse side of things, you can see here that every time the price has bounced from the four cent, it comes up here and hits this orange line here, which is the 200 day cent moving average. And this is that key level that I was talking about earlier in the video where we, uh, if the price can get above there and start to close above uh, this level, and that's where the chart could really start to reverse around and you know make some continued bigger moves upwards. Uh, intraday, you can see multiple times the price has been able to break above it, uh, but because we're looking at the daily chart here, we care about closes. So this is going to be the key level of resistance right here at the 200-day cent moving average. And as I've already noted, the key level of support is at four cents. And like I said, uh, for the risk-risk reward players, you know, if it doesn't go uh, your way, you know, you can obviously control your loss by a stop loss. But if it does decide to bounce back up again, uh, you know, I don't want to state the obvious, but you know, that's a lot of room where it could. You know, bounce back up there, and the history is there from the past where the price has shot upwards. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And even looking back here at this day, where the price or where the volume, uh, you know, shot up, there was some nice price movement. Uh, it did close, you know, obviously red on that day. But uh, as far as traders and such are concerned, I mean, look at these swings. So lots of, you know, depending on where you bought, there's uh, could have been some profitable swings in here. So when the volume does hit. It does provide lots of opportunities, uh, you know, to, to pull out profit. So uh, this is a great day here where you had it open and, it, you know, was going back and forth all over the place. Um, but as far as traders are concerned, uh, you know that that's there's lots of mo uh, opportunities within these sorts of moves uh, to make money. So uh, with any sort of, you know, increased volume again, uh, hopefully given the past history of how it's bounced from this four cent level, uh, it'll come up here and at least retest this 200 day. Uh, you know, it'd be great if it can get some closes above it, but, um, you know, as past history has shown, this is definitely kind of the pain in the neck of the chart right now. Uh, but the good news is with pain in the necks, resistance levels, when they are finally broken, uh, you know, the price can really get moving after, you know, that has happened. Looking down here at the MACD, again, you can see that every time the MACD has been down in this level, um, you know, it's corrected itself and headed back up. So the MACD is, again, approaching this level that it was at these past couple times. So that's a nice kind of little indicator, too, that the MACD is approaching those lows while the price is right down here around those uh, four cent levels. And the relative strength index actually is already in uh, oversold territory right now and started is starting to head back up. So that's something else that you want to keep your eye on, too, uh, just as, you know, secondary confirmation. But at the end of the day, the volume and price action is going to be the two key indicators so that's what you'll want to watch but you know again you can see the price is pulled back hanging right here around this key level of support uh, so this upcoming week here will be interesting to see if the trampoline effect occurs and the price heads back up here uh, to hopefully test but if not you know or better yet break through uh, this 200 day uh, moving average up here so if there are any other questions on the SLTZ chart uh, please let me know but if not thanks for listening